The wind howls, snow falls, the forest is silent, yet it speaks in whispers. In the heart of a frozen forest, a story is told, a tale that chills the bones and stirs the soul. It is a story of hunger. It is a story of greed. It is the story of the Wendigo, a creature of insatiable desire. A creature born of cold and darkness, the Wendigo haunts the folklore of the Algonquin tribes of North America. Its presence is a shadow over the snowy landscape. More than just a monster, it represents the darkness within us all. The Wendigo is a mirror reflecting our deepest, darkest impulses. The Wendigo is a warning, a whisper of the potential for monstrous transformation that lies dormant within the human soul. It is a cautionary tale of what we could become. To encounter the Wendigo is to face one's deepest fears. It is to confront the terror that lurks in the heart of the wilderness. It is a reminder of the fragility of humanity in the face of the untamed wilderness. The Wendigo shows us how easily we can be consumed by the wild. In the stories told around flickering fires, the Wendigo serves as both a chilling specter and a powerful moral lesson. It is a tale that warns and teaches. It reminds us that the line between man and beast is thin. The Wendigo is a symbol of that precarious balance, and sometimes the cold can seep in and change us forever. The Wendigo is a testament to the transformative power of the wilderness. The Wendigo myth is deeply rooted in the oral traditions of the Algonquin tribes, a people with a rich cultural heritage. These tribes, spread across the northern regions of North America, share a profound connection to the land, which is reflected in their stories and legends. They also share a deep-seated fear of the Wendigo, a creature that has haunted their folklore for centuries. While specific details of the Wendigo myth vary among different Algonquin tribes, the core elements of the myth remain consistent and powerful. The Wendigo is depicted as a creature of insatiable hunger, driven mad by its unending desire for human flesh, a symbol of unchecked greed and consumption. Passed down through generations, the Wendigo stories served a vital purpose in the community, acting as both entertainment and moral lessons. They offered explanations for the often mysterious and unexplained disappearances in the vast, unforgiving wilderness that surrounded them. These tales reinforced the importance of community, cooperation, and mutual support in the face of hardship and adversity. Most importantly, they served as cautionary tales, warning against the dangers of greed, selfishness, and the seductive power of darkness that can consume one's soul. The Wendigo is a chilling reminder of the primal fears that have haunted humanity since the dawn of time, embodying the darkest aspects of human nature and the consequences of losing one's humanity. If you're enjoying this deep dive into the legend of the Wendigo, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with fellow mythology enthusiasts. The Wendigo is often associated with winter. This is no coincidence. Winter for the Algonquin tribes was a time of great hardship. Food was scarce, temperatures plummeted, survival was a daily struggle. It is in these harsh conditions that the Wendigo myth takes on its most poignant meaning. The Wendigo embodies the fear of succumbing to our basest instincts in the face of desperation. The transformation into a Wendigo is often linked to acts of cannibalism. This act, considered the ultimate taboo, represents the complete surrender to the animalistic urges within. The Wendigo is a stark reminder that the line between civilization and savagery is thin. It can be broken by hunger, by fear, and by the darkness that resides in the heart of every human being. There is no single definitive description of the Wendigo's appearance. Its form is fluid, shifting like the shadows it inhabits. However, some common elements appear in many accounts. The Wendigo is often described as grotesquely emaciated, its bones pushing against stretched, decaying skin. Its eyes burn with an unnatural hunger. Its teeth are long and sharp, perfect for tearing flesh. Some stories describe the Wendigo with antlers, a symbol of its connection to the natural world. Others depict it with glowing eyes, a sign of its corrupted spirit. The Wendigo's appearance is as much about psychological impact as it is about physical description. It is a manifestation of primal fear, designed to strike terror into the hearts of those who hear its tale. The Wendigo is more than just a physical creature. It possesses supernatural abilities that make it a truly terrifying adversary. It is said to be incredibly strong and fast, capable of moving with unnatural speed and agility. Some stories attribute it with the ability to mimic human voices, using this skill to lure unsuspecting victims into its grasp. 
The Wendigo's power is linked to the winter itself. It grows stronger in the cold, its presence heralded by biting winds and chilling cold. This connection to the elements makes it a force to be reckoned with, a creature that embodies the raw, untamed power of the natural world. To confront the Wendigo is to confront the very forces of nature themselves. The Wendigo myth can also be interpreted through a psychological lens. On one level, the Wendigo represents the shadow self, the dark and primal aspects of human nature that we often repress. Its insatiable hunger reflects our own capacity for greed, selfishness, and violence. The Wendigo's transformation serves as a cautionary tale about the dangers of succumbing to these darker impulses. The Wendigo can also be seen as a manifestation of societal anxieties. For the Algonquin tribes, the harsh realities of winter brought the very real threat of starvation and death. The Wendigo myth may have served as a way to process these anxieties, to give a face to their fears, and to find a sense of control in the face of overwhelming uncertainty. The Wendigo myth, like all folklore, has evolved over time. Originally passed down through oral storytelling, it has been adapted and reinterpreted in various forms of media. The Wendigo has made its way into modern media and literature, becoming a staple in horror fiction. From Algernon Blackwood's 1910 short story, The Wendigo, to Stephen King's Pet Cemetery, this creature has captured the imagination of writers and filmmakers. Its representation often varies, but the core elements of insatiable hunger and transformation remain consistent. In film and television, the Wendigo has appeared in various forms. Movies like Ravenous and TV shows such as Supernatural and Hannibal have portrayed the Wendigo as a terrifying force of nature. These adaptations continue to explore themes of human nature, survival, and the consequences of taboo actions. From literature and film to video games and comic books, the Wendigo continues to capture the imagination, its chilling presence resonating with audiences across generations. While these modern interpretations may take creative liberties with the myth, they often retain its core themes. The Wendigo remains a symbol of the dangers of greed, the corrupting influence of power, and the fragility of the human psyche in the face of overwhelming darkness. Its enduring presence in popular culture speaks to the power of myth and its ability to transcend time and cultural boundaries. If you're enjoying this deep dive into the legend of the Wendigo, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with fellow mythology enthusiasts. At its heart, the Wendigo myth is a cautionary tale. To understand the Wendigo myth more deeply, we spoke with experts on Native American folklore. They explained that the Wendigo also represents the concept of Wendigo psychosis, a cultural bound syndrome where individuals believe they are transforming into a Wendigo. This psychosis highlights the powerful impact of cultural beliefs on mental health. Scholars have studied the Wendigo myth extensively, examining its role in the cultures of the Algonquin-speaking peoples. Their research reveals how the Wendigo legend has adapted over time, reflecting changing social and environmental conditions. The enduring nature of this myth speaks to its deep-rooted significance in Native American culture. It serves as a reminder of the consequences of greed, selfishness, and the violation of societal taboos. The Wendigo's transformation from human to monster is a stark warning about the ease with which we can succumb to our darker impulses. It highlights the importance of community, compassion, and selflessness in the face of adversity. It reminds us that the choices we make have consequences, not just for ourselves, but for those around us. In a world where darkness often seems to lurk around every corner, the Wendigo serves as a timeless reminder of the importance of choosing light. While the Wendigo may have originated in the folklore of a specific culture, its themes resonate far beyond its original context. The fear of the monster within, the seductive power of darkness, and the consequences of unchecked greed are universal human concerns. In a world grappling with climate change, social injustice, and the erosion of empathy, the Wendigo's message feels more relevant than ever. The Wendigo reminds us that the choices we make have consequences. It challenges us to confront the darkness within ourselves and to strive for a better, more compassionate world. In a time of increasing division and uncertainty, the Wendigo's message is a powerful reminder of our shared humanity and our responsibility to one another. The Wendigo myth, passed down through generations, continues to haunt our imaginations. 
This terrifying creature, born from the fears and anxieties of ancient peoples, still finds a place in our modern psyche. But the legend of the Wendigo isn't just an ancient tale. There are chilling stories from people who claim to have encountered this malevolent spirit in modern times. Consider the case of Jack Fiddler, an OG Cree shaman who lived in the early 20th century. Jack claimed to have defeated numerous Wendigos during his lifetime. These weren't mere legends. Jack believed these were people who had been possessed by the Wendigo spirit, driven by an uncontrollable desire for human flesh. His tales and eventual arrest for murder brought the Wendigo legend into the modern era, illustrating the terrifying grip this myth held over his community. In another account, a hunter in the northern forest reported a harrowing experience while trapped during a snowstorm. He described hearing eerie, disembodied whispers and seeing a gaunt figure with glowing eyes lurking in the distance. The experience left him convinced that he had encountered the Wendigo, a belief that haunted him for the rest of his life. These modern encounters may seem like the stuff of nightmares, but they highlight the enduring power of the Wendigo myth. Even today, stories of sightings and strange occurrences continue to emerge from remote regions of North America, keeping the legend alive and chilling new generations. The Wendigo's chilling presence lingers long after the story is told. It may be a creature of myth, but the darkness it represents is all too real. It symbolizes the dangers of isolation, unchecked greed, and the loss of humanity. By heeding the warnings embedded within its story, we can strive to be better, to choose compassion over greed, and to keep the monster within at bay. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Mythomaniac Legends Alive and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos.